when we were naming our show, we, we wanted it to be design and lifestyle and entertainment and repurpose. And then we came up with lifestyle because we really wanted it to include all of the aspects of decorating for your life. And you know, you may be wanting to define that for yourself. Maybe you're changing decor, maybe you're in a transition. Well, we've got just the person. Linda Berry is back with us from Bella Linia. Welcome back, Linda. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Well, you know, we're talking about uh, lifestyle decor, but before mm -hmm. we get started, we want yes. you to tell everyone uh, about your business and where you're sure. located. Your showroom is changing, too. Can we kind of tease that a little bit? Yes, we can. Yes. Okay. First of all, we are located in uh, Grace's Plaza, right across uh, the street from Nordstrom's in Green Hills. Mm -hmm. And... Um, uh, our website is, is uh, bellalinia.com. We are very excited to announce that we're expanding our store. I know. And getting into this lifestyle that, that you speak of and our our new tagline is for the rest of your life and what we will be doing with this new space is 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 truly being able to take it from linens to more of home accents and all of the other products that that you can incorporate to really get, give that lifestyle you know that feel whatever it is that that just speaks to you whether it's contemporary uh, transitional traditional so All we're very of those. excited. Yes, and I mean, so much is going on over at Bella Linia. I mean, knocking out walls and taking over the space. You know, you guys are really expanding. And one of the things with uh, lifestyle, it really is just a way that a person or a group of people live. So it really is going inside of yourself. How does your family operate? How do they live in the space? And so many different. Uh, there's so many different looks right now from transitional to modern and we're going to be talking about that mm -hmm. and one of the things you said that tagline for the rest of your life now most yes. people I love it because you're a bedding store so it's for the rest of your life but it's also for the rest of your life so even to the end and I will tell you if you get really good linens you will not believe this but I've had a duvet for over 20 years and it is beautiful and mm -hmm. I still love it so if you buy something exquisite you go ahead and spend a few dollars on that it's going to be something that you use throughout your life absolutely yeah, we love that we love that description because it is all about comfort and all about quality which is Bellalinia. Absolutely. And, well, uh, so we're real thrilled. Let's start with some okay. of the pictures that you've brought for us. All right. But what are we seeing here? Okay this is a transitional bed and I do have some uh, samples to show ways that it you could incorporate different colors if you wanted to, different patterns. You can make that bed into a traditional bed. You can also just, just tone it down if you want to and make it more neutral. Or you could even add um, uh, many of many colors of the col in, in the color wheel to it because, because it's, it's pretty more neutral. neutral. That's right. Yeah, it's so neutral and you're starting out. Yes. And one of the things that you say, Linda, and I love, you said one of the first things that you need to do with lifestyle decor is find something that you love you literally have an order that yes. you encourage your clients who come in is find something that you love honestly if you just choose something out of a magazine and it's not your style you're not gonna love it for very long so that's what that's you're right. That's really one of your tips, isn't it? it? It really is. And then from there, you can build your, your room about, uh, around what it is, again, that speaks to you. Mm -hmm. that's, that's becoming kind of my favorite phrase these days, is, is what speaks to you. And then build that, build your room around it. It might be um, artwork, but linens can be so incorporated mm -hmm. to to mix and match uh, and capture that same mood. Now, so, one thing that you advise, and yes. I love this, I think this is brilliant, you advise don't start with the paint color first. Yes, please oh. don't. <laughs> and and, and you why know, is that, Linda? Well, and we'll hear clients come in the store and they'll say, oh, I think my, I think it's this blue. That's what my walls are on, or, or this this color blue mm -hmm. and you know we have to say we have to have the exact shade because people cannot remember color sure they can get into that range of color but exact 
not at all. The, the other reason why it's good to paint your room um, last as one of the last things right. is because, for example, if you find something in the store, but yet it's an order that, that uh, it's a product that's special ordered, the dye lot could be off a little bit. Exactly. And we've seen those kind of situations, too, where a client maybe wanted a duplicate pillow in the same color right. six months later, but all of a sudden, the 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 dye lots were off just a little bit so that's we good. really yeah. recommend that you get it exactly the way you want right. it start start with the linens start with your artwork and, mm -hmm. and the pieces that really matter to you the most and then after you get those pieces choose your paint color that's so right. that way you know that it's going to match well, we've got some more that was a transitional look now we've got a few more take a look Yes, and that's a traditional look. Um, uh, if I may, I'll skip back to to the trans transitional just sure, for a moment. Sure, absolutely. Um, and yeah. even without putting the the picture back up, one of the other points I, I would love to to make about all of what we're see we will be um, seeing today is how easy it is to change the look of your bed. For wow. example, um, if you wanted to do another version of tra of transitional, you know, it had that little orange pillow that was there in front. Okay. You could take that away and do something like add these two pillows here. Okay. Now okay. See, see how you suddenly gotten a complete. And this is actually the, a sample of the fabric from what we just saw, which oh, was. Oh, okay. So you could mix these together. Again, exactly. these are all a neutral palette, but it's got a lot of texture to it. It does. So you, and, and also very transitional, too. Not, uh -huh. quite, not quite contemporary, not quite traditional. If you did want to make that bed more traditional, then uh -huh. I, I would would recommend changing out say the ivory uh, square uh, pillows in the back right. and shams and adding a f this is so you have to feel this Oh, this it's a baby blanket for uh, adults. Uh, no, it I know it is. I love that. <laughs> it is. Um, and you it, always, and the last time you were here, you were hugging a duvet. I was, And this I know. time she's bringing, she's like, well, is bringing her. You know, but I, I tell you what, I've got one at home that I, I, it's mine. It stays in my chair. And that's really important. Well, let's take a look at that sure. uh, transitional look again. Uh, love yes. this. That is um, a, 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 just a great picture of a traditional bed. Okay. Again, because because of the pattern in the duvet cover and the and the the uh, uh, coral uh, pillow shams that you see there in the back, you could you could also you could also make that a little more contemporary if you wanted to. We finished out that bed as you'll notice with uh, embroidered sheets, which lent itself to traditional. Although although uh, there are a lot of embroideries out there mm -hmm. that are contemporary so did you have any samples you were showing on this one or? not on this one okay not but on you this got one. lots in oh, the show yeah, more. okay yes. great yes oh this is so colorful this reminds me of spring it does and um, it was so exciting I just got back from market and um, I'm just so thrilled to see more and more color is being introduced um, there, as a matter of fact blue is now they've been working a few years trying to get that right color of blue um, to take off as a new trend and it will mm -hmm. be more of a sky blue which is very interesting I thought I would um, pass that along oh I like that I know I know and it will any and any uh, blue shade of course is is always appropriate but I love that because it's perfect for youth it's a it's a young bed but it's also a, a very fun uh, contemporary bed taking any of those patterns and see Denise how you could mix and match really all of it you know and this is even uh, so popular in fashion right now I mean mixing the stripes and the uh, all the the different patterns it is and um, great for uh, dorm rooms mm -hmm. uh, again for teenagers for mm -hmm. young adults uh, for a child's room so there's a lot of possibilities there. that's a great idea yeah. okay and we've got a few more pictures Oh, this is very nice. Yes. This is our um, contemporary bed. And I actually, let's and we see. Could, and here's the here's, pillow. Here's the you pillow. know what I like about this is because I've had uh, some, you know, masculine men uh, who have hired me. And um, they have actually, oh, they're showing your pillow there, that yes. beautiful pillow right there. They have actually said, you know, we don't want foo-foo. We don't want, we want masculine look. We want, you know, something that's not going to make me feel like. And I 
think this could work for men and women. It a absolutely could. Um, and one wonderful, uh, in fact, I, this is probably one of my most favorite duvets that I've seen in a long, long time. I think a lot of it is because people are so starved for color. Right. And, you know, neutrals always work. It's, it's wonderful in the bedroom, especially because of the peaceful, restful, Ah, you know exactly that you uh -huh. automatically feel but I think um, consumers are, are really wanting again these pops of color mm -hmm. which can so easily be added to a bed a chair uh, in in your bedroom any in any room this particular bed I brought in this blanket because that sort of like a waffle weave it is it is but just to show if you wanted a more casual look from the picture that was uh, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. shown Look! Look how great that texture is with the, oh, yeah. with this pillow, and then um, and that's so soft too. I like the feel of that. Yeah, that so, really and that's what you're all about. It's not just about luxury and you've got to spend a, a you know a lot of money. What right. it really is about is quality and a good night's rest. That's it. You know they say you should sleep. I was just reading this morning um, in a book. They said well, you should be sleeping eight hours, and they say you should drop you know lower the temperature. It should be cooler, and your room should be very serene. Um, and this is a great way to really be more restful. Well, it is. You know, your your home is your castle, and if you're in a space that is making you nervous, and it maybe it's too bright or the colors are too garish, you you. How can you rest? <laughs> so well, that's I know the whole I can. <laughs> if even when I go on vacation, I have to move things around, <laughs> and they and probably get crazy. They're probably thinking, "Why does this lady?" In fact, we did. We went to Mexico, and every time I would move the furniture around, the lady would come back in the next day, and she would move it all back. And then I would move it back, and I would put pillows out, and, and she would move it right back. So uh, it was very funny. Well, we've got more pictures that we're going to show yes. you. So we saw the youthful. Now, uh, what are we seeing here? Well, I, we threw that in because we um, love to appeal to... Uh, student going going off to college mm -hmm. so this uh, we have a back to campus promotion every year yes and you have a lot of students and I hope if you're we watching do. that you realize that Bella Linea is the place to go because you have a lot of uh, uh, the the college uh, logos and things like that as well we do we do and um, we in fact we are are getting the word out more and more and more that that we we have great not only great selections and as a matter of fact suppliers I noticed this year from market they're really beginning to answer that call that demand mm -hmm. for college students in, in particular so I saw more introductions from this market than I've probably seen in 10 years great price points but and uh, the biggest benefit is not uh, not being that quote unquote bed in a bag which is uh, being a cookie cutter bed just like every every other that that you see out right, there right. so and again of course that's our concept is what we try to do is design beds and baths according to the needs of a client and their wants and their lifestyle as you were talking about earlier and um, and their furnishings, and and we do the same uh, with with college kids too. So we chose that picture in particular just again to show, for example, this pillow here. You could uh, you could take a lot of that away, and just have this as a, as a center pillow if you wanted to. Oh, I love that, and I love that. I love that it has so much detail in it, but it's also, is this a linen? The background it is, is a linen? It is. And, you know, I just asked Linda, when uh, because here's the thing. I like the karate chop. You just do a little <laughs> karate chop right in the middle. Yes. And somebody was telling me the other day, they said, oh, no, the karate chop has gone out of style. No, if you've got, what I like about it is if you have these down pillows, do a little karate chop, it just gives it a nice look. So we still like, we at Lifestyle still like the karate chop just so you know and that's it, a designer term too that and that's <laughs> right and it keeps the pillow from flopping over too so it looks it, it really kind of fits our more contemporary uh, transitional world that we live in today so that's that right. was another 
Now, um, you mentioned that you have uh, bedding and bath, mm -hmm. but I'll have to say, I was accessorizing a kitchen the other day, and I came by your place, and I bought three things. I bought a market basket, a big market basket that I put all of their fruits and vegetables in, mm -hmm. and I bought a candle with a three wick. Those three wick candles were amazing. And, and it's stunning. hard to find the three wick candles. You've got those oh, as well. Oh, yes, we do. We do. We certainly do. And what do. I like is you have a huge, I mean, one of the biggest selections that I've seen of guest towels, like little hand towels that that can mm -hmm. add, you can add color and change out just almost instantly. You can. And also, um, here, here's another little trick of the trade, is the kitchen, we carry fabulous kitchen towels. And as a, as a matter of fact, I think one of my personal favorites, we have what's called a polishing cloth uh, that that is made to um, shine up crystal. Oh, I know. You were showing me did that I, to get I, all of the, yeah, so if you've got little beads on your, you know, on your glasses, they don't come out of the dishwasher well, exactly. you can polish them up. Well, hey, thank you so much, Linda. You always share the best information. We're going to be having you back uh, for you. the party favors right at the end. Thank but you. you know, flowers, I know you should probably uh, notice these flowers. Here. They add so much to a room mm. and fresh flowers. Look at these. This really gets me ready for spring and I like for flowers is where you can get those 736-5200 you can contact them well coming up what do you do if you have a bowl full of match books that you've collected from all of your travels and you don't know how to display them we're going to show you when we come back the electronic